So these are the deleted scenes from Ash's Homecoming. And the first scene you're about to see takes place early on in the film, right after Ash and his mom have a bit of a falling out there. And actually has was in the script from the first draft. It was an idea ported over from drafts of Star Trek Wars and was meant to represent this void that Ash left in his mom's life after he left. And so you can see here she brings out a birthday cake that she's made for Ash. And unfortunately though, uh, when seeing it in editing, it didn't really add anything to her character and in fact made it more confusing because, oh, is it Ash's birthday now too? So I uh, didn't make the cut again, unfortunately. And this, what you're about to see, is a series of shots and scenes that were in the middle of the film. You'll actually recognize some of the shots that uh, are in the final cut, but there are some new shots. And in editing, we realized the sequence just wasn't working very well. Right there, you could see there's a letter in Gary's jacket pocket, and he, it was meant to show his sort of resistance to wanting to read his the letter from his grandfather but you can see the shot didn't quite uh make sense it was confusing and right here uh you'll see a shot that was dropped entirely and i kind of like it because it's symmetrical um it's this cool uh dana dolly that we used to push in on the bed um but unfortunately the dialogue really just didn't add anything to the sequence and the main goal was to take these series of shots and rework them to better climax towards the flashback, but to just make the story clear and really to help restructure uh, Gary's character as well. Uh, we did a little bit of ADR work to kind of rewrite some of the lines. And uh, I think it works out much better this way. So I think the lesson is uh, be okay with change if it means a better result.